Hey, welcome back to Wolf's Weekly. This week I'm going to talk just a little bit about our very first habit of success that parents and, and community that you can help reinforce with our students that are there. It is attachment. Attachment is, is a connection to something. And, and you know, you guys know that for just the meaning of the words, but we are hardwired for connection. And if students don't have that, they don't do near as well. In our community, you provide wonderful opportunities for attachment. You know, our school, we have all kinds of neat things that are happening, you know, whether it be uh, athletics or music or, or clubs. We want to provide those, and please support us, and thank you for those of you that are supporting that, but also out in the community, the things that you have available for kids to be able to be attached to their community. We know if they get attached in the community now, they're going to continue to do so, hopefully in our community or in, in whatever community they happen to live in, and they'll make a big difference in those communities, and they just won't be someone, what I like to call breathers. People just kind of show up and suck in air, and that's about it. We want our people that when they walk in the room, the room's better because they've been there. And that's what we want from our students, and that's what we want from our community. And you guys can help with that by continuing to support those things that we do to attach um, our kids, to provide connection for our kids in the community. Hey, I've got a guest with me today. I've got Shaylee Havens with me today. Shaylee is a freshman at our high school, and she has a weird hobby. Um, it's amazing. Shaylee, it, it, tell us a little bit about what you've been doing uh, that no one else is doing in your school. Um, this past summer, I joined an equestrian drill team, um, which is where you do entertainment for rodeos, which you do like patterns and like just entertainment. Um, but um, I decided to do trick riding on my equestrian drill team, which is where you can just like you do tricks on the horse. Um, she did tricks yeah. on the horse. So she got a perfectly good saddle, but you can't stay in that saddle, can you? So we had an opportunity to watch you at our rodeo a little bit this year. Tell us a little bit about some of the tricks. Uh, the, the first one you explained last time was, to me, that's just crazy, but go ahead. Um, I did the hippodrome, which is where you're standing up in a strap on the saddle while the horse is running. Um, so that's called the hippodrome. Yeah, standing up on a perfectly good saddle. Good yeah. job, girl. <laughs> uh, where, where's your mom during this time? She is in the stands. Okay, okay. And tell us about a couple others that, are, that you um, do. I do the uh, suicide drag, which is where you lay on the side of the saddle. Terrible name for a trick, by the way. <laughs> yeah. um, and then the fender drag, which is where your, your back is facing. You're on the side of the saddle, and your back is facing the horse's head. Um, and then I do the tail drag, which is where you lay back on the back of the horse. Lay back on the back of the horse. So yeah, you know, it, it's now. How did you decide that this is something I want to do with my life and limbs? Ever since I was five, I watched a movie that was called Cowgirls and Angels, and there's this girl who's like eight, and she learned how to do a trick. And I always told my mom that I wanted to do it. And ever since this drill team started, I told my coach that I wanted to do it, and she said, okay, get up in the saddle, and she taught me all the tricks. And so here she goes. So it's exciting. We had a chance next year, make sure you get the opportunity to watch her at our rodeo here, and there'll be other op opportunities. Thank you for coming today, Shelly. Guys, thank yes. you for tuning in to Wolf's Weekly again, and we'll see you next week.